your days of doing PCNLs on smaller stones like 2.5 centimeters or smaller may be numbered due to this innovative new device that is coming to the market. Last year at the AUA 2023, I brought a device at your attention to do a device called CVAC. This is the updated, improved, and better version of CVAC. I call it CVAC 2, but they call it, still call it CVAC. It's an integrated ureteroscope with suction capability. So, first of all, here's the device itself. The diameter of this ureteroscope, outer diameter is 11.9 French. So you can either introduce the device directly via wire, or you can use an access sheet, obviously a 12, 14 French access sheet. What is interesting about this device is that you can be lasering the stone and use irrigation and then suck out the stone fragments at the same time. And you have full control of that using this device here. So quickly, if I can have you hold on to that, you have the irrigation inflow port right here, an outflow port. You have the laser the working channel right here. You can introduce the laser fiber in here. This is the catch that captures the stone as you irrigate and while you're lasering after you fragment the stone. So you can do all that at the same time by operating this lever here, which will activate the suction. And of course, you still have the lever here to adjust the angulation of the ureteroscope. Another cool thing is that, you, you, you know, typically you're irrigating the, the stone, but generally you're pushing the stone away from you. Say you're in a calyx and you're irrigating, usually the stone runs away from you. Well, they've developed a technology at the very, very tip here there are four micro jets that will shoot out fluid, which pushes out towards the calyces and then brings the stone as if you're giving the stones a hug and then say, hey, come over here, come over here. And it sucks the stone fragments through the available space in the working channel with the laser still in place. Mind blown, right? So that's why I say your days of doing perks on 2.5 centimeter stones or maybe bigger stones may be numbered. Okay, so now, of course, clinical efficacy is probably there. What about the finances? Well, your hospitals and surgery centers, if you're a doctor, you probably don't care, but hospitals and surgery centers, from what I'm understanding, can be billing a PCNL code when you are doing this procedure. I don't know how that works, but apparently, financially, it makes sense to them for, to adopt this technology. So that means you're probably not going to have much resistance in getting this product into your facility. Now, as a physician, you're probably thinking, okay, how does it impact me? I, in my mind, I'm thinking the ureteroscopy with laser lithotripsy, stone manipulation code, stem placement code. There's only one code. I believe it's 52356. So that one code will give you all that. The, the ureteroscopy, laser lithotripsy, putting up a stent, all that stuff. But because you're dealing with a larger stone, you're probably going to be using a modifier 22. Of course, that requires you to document well in your note, in your op note, to justify why you're using the device, why it's taking a lot longer, and why you can do a modifier 22 on that specific CPT. In addition, you do have to educate your coding and billing staff that you are going to be using a modifier 22. And on box 19 of your claim form, to indicate to the payer why that modifier 22 is justified. So this will hopefully minimize the number of trips that your patients will have to go to the OR for you to tackle the large stone, improve your efficiency because you no longer have to drive that scope in and out to irrigate or wash that. You are not having to take the patients back over and over again to take care of that large stone. Let me know what you think. If you have tried it, let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much. And of course, I have no financial relationship to Colexo, the makers of CVAC. I'm always bringing information to you so that you can benefit. Let me know in the comments what you think. See ya.